Welcome to VJK United and I'm VJ and basically from India and living in Hong Kong. This is my ninth year but today I have a very good friend with me and uh, let's know about him and he will tell some of his opinion, viewpoints. You know what's happening around like Black Lives Matter, what recently what has happened in America. I am Peter mm. and I'm from Uganda, somewhere in Africa. Somewhere in Africa. I think Uganda is very popular for many reasons. So. How many years or how long you're in Hong Kong? Um, Hong Kong, I'm slightly over two years now, uh -huh. so I'm, I'm coping up. So I'm compared to Uganda, years. what do you think? Like, what is the difference between Uganda and uh, Hong Kong? Um, what I can say, Uganda is a beautiful place. Uh -huh. have, uh, lots of fresh air uh -huh. and uh, the, the, the breath is much more better than in Hong Kong, we have a lot I of see, heat I see. in Hong Kong, I see. and 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 everything is like oh, you need aircon, you need heater, right, 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 keep right. changing season, uh -huh, uh -huh. season. Yes, we don't yes, have that yes, in yes. Uganda, yes. so that, that's the difference. So, what's your viewpoint? Like, what's recently happened in US, and you know, like mm. last month in China, like they mm. were like taking away the black people or African people from the restaurants or even the hotel, mm -hmm. and what has happened in America. What do you think? Do you have to say anything? Well, I think it's a tragedy, but I will take you to the Gospel of Matthew, mm. chapter 22. Mm. Gospel of Matthew, from, chapter 22? From verse, I think from around verse 34, I won't let you read all. Mm. Uh, when the Pharisees asked Jesus Christ about what is the biggest commandment or the most important one, and Jesus answered them and told them there are only two. Hmm. One is love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your strength and all your understanding. Right, right. And then the other one is uh, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Correct. And you know what that means? That means God has two types of relationships that he wants us as humans mm. to have. And that is what we call the vertical relationship and the horizontal relationship. Mm. Now, I won't talk much about the vertical one because that's between you and that you believe is God. And But the, the horizontal one means me and you, mm. human being and mm. one another. Mm. We've got to care and love one another and mm. respect. Right. And that is the problem that we are facing world over. Mm. Some people really do not have that feeling, that understanding of the horizontal relationship. Right. We don't care for one another. Mm. We don't love one another. Mm. We don't respect. We have got people who are pessimists. I call them pessimists. Pessimists. Uh -huh. Because they, they think every good thing must belong to them. Oh. Or either never. That's very selfish. So this is the way that some people look at themselves. So they mm. don't care who or what their neighbor is. They only mm. care for themselves. Mm. So when they see around, every good thing must belong to them. Oh. And these are pessimists in the way, probably in, in, in a way of color, in a way of uh, the, the region of belongings and wherever, mm. how they describe and define themselves. Mm -hmm. So that makes them to be pessimist and mm. to think Oh, he or she doesn't deserve anything better. Oh, it's me. That's sad. And that is the tragedy why you see things happening like this, world over, killing and all this. It's because people do not care to make right their horizontal relationship. Oh. And that's the tragedy. I think that's where the problem is. If we could listen to the words of Jesus, two commandments, your vertical relationship and your horizontal relationship. If we can do that, mm. we will live peacefully and happily in this world. I think I agree with you because uh, no one has a problem to love God, but the problem is that they have a problem to love one another. They I divide. tell you what, you're very right. Yes. Every human being has some instinct of a, a, a God kind of. Mm. May not be a true God because we uh, we don't have the authority to say this is the right God, this is the wrong one. Mm. But at least every human being has that kind of feeling of those, even those who respect nature, think nature is their life. Mm. I mean, they are God. So at least they have a feeling of 
some relationship with a supernatural like power. they say universe exactly or, or not mother nature exactly right so some everybody else mm. has that feeling a mm. connection between him or her mm. with the supernatural power or what somebody thinks is above human mm. but we have a problem when it comes to our horizontal relationship mm. we have a big problem we have issues there mm. people select who to be my friend who to mm. be my uh, to have a relationship with with, mm. but that is not what the principle Jesus was teaching about right. we were saying your neighbor and because they did not understand if you continue reading mm. you find later on the disciples actually came and asked him master who is my neighbor is it the person next to the door mm. of my house mm. is the person sitting the next seat in the next desk at my office mm. who is my neighbor and you know what the story comes after that. We won't go mm. that because it takes much longer. Sure, sure, sure. But your neighbor matters a lot. You know what, uh, when you say this Bible verse, to love your neighbor, I think there is no problem to love neighbor's wife. But oh. the problem is to love the neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> So it's just a joke apart. You see, a neighbor, so, <laughs> a neighbor is not somebody next to door or sitting next to right, me. Right, right, right. The neighbor is someone you should give respect and care uh, when yes. that person deserves and needs that care. Right. So that was a joke apart, guys. Don't take it seriously. <laughs> yes, but uh, it does not matter what skin color you are bearing it because it's by nature. But we have no right to judge or discriminate anyone based on their caste, creed, nature, or even belief. How is your life in Hong Kong? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I, I'm enjoying every moment in Hong Kong. Mm. And um, well, I can say I've personally you know, felt every time important and good for me. Yeah. Have you ever experienced kind of a discrimination or look down just because based on your skin color? I think I haven't uh, really experienced something like a bubble or uh -huh. some straight, straight of kind of right. uh, provocation. At least Hong Kong is a, a model society at the moment that others could look into. But still, somehow, I sense that tendency, especially when you go to uh, the MTR and you take the train, you see right. uh, kind of that feeling, uh, tendency of people trying to, oh, kind of disassociate themselves with you. Yeah, I do kind of feel that a little bit uh, in public places. Mm. Yes, there are some people who would really you know, give you way. Mm. You may think it's a respect, but kind of I sense not respect, but, but something they, else. They're just making a distance yeah, 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 from yeah. you. They, they may give you way, they make distance for you, but mm. you're just trying to, you know, what can I do? It's right, right. saying, oh, I wish I should, you know, get close to this guy. But I, yes, to a small scale, I can say. Very yeah, good. But, so kudos to Hong Kong that it's in Hong Kong have a scale of discrimination is way lower than other parts of the world. That's mm -hmm. what Peter suggests. And, you know, I also experience when sometimes I sit down in the MTR or in the bus. Yes, yes. I mean, before pandemic, okay? Yeah. So when people come and sit down and they say, oh, Indian or dark skin, they just, yes. they just don't want to sit there. They just stand up and leave. Yeah. But Friends uh, used to tell me that uh, some years back when there was an issue of Ebola. Ebola, all right. Know, H1N1 they, they, Ebola, things yeah, like that. They associate the Ebola virus to be coming from <laughs> Africa. So my, 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 my black guys, uh, you say, whenever they get into the, oh my the train, the Chinese see Ebola and they would all <laughs> flee. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, I mean, but, that's really scary and yeah, hurting yeah, yeah, as well. And uh, this is something that is absurd. It's yes, absurd, that's yeah. absurd. Yes, and, and the right. Chinese are also facing it when they go elsewhere. They say, "Oh, this this Chinese must be carrying." Mm, yeah, <laughs> same thing now. Like what they yeah. saw before. Now yeah, they're exactly. like that's what happened in Europe, yeah. in America. They just discriminate them, even hit them, or abuse them, or even throw things on them because they think that Corona is equal to Chinese, and like Chinese exactly. people or or pe other people think that Ebola is equal to Africa. Yes. No matter what, mm, but mm. Uh, one person is not responsible for the whole earth chaos. Mm -hmm. But this one person next to you happened to be your neighbor, co-worker, friend, whosoever yeah. deserves your love, respect and even care. What Jesus said mm. when he was making clear what he was trying to tell his disciples, mm. he came and told them your neighbor mm. 
he gave three examples of people mm. and uh, these guys all came across a man mm. who was beaten to near death and left across the road the first one was actually high priest mm. the priest who passed by mm. and when this priest passed by he mm. looked under this and you know with the laws of hong kong mm. which says you know don't touch someone call the police mm. oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. You, you find someone in serious trouble in pain right. yes, problems yes, don't yes. touch call the police yes this so is they, strange this guy here. just passed by and then he left yes and then another person came and then then the third one the good samaritan right he said i won't call the police i'll give right. this person care yes and that's why jesus said who of those is the neighbor mm. to this man right so the neighbor is someone who is in need so we need to understand that somebody who is in need is actually the point where you can come and then god comes and you meet there mm. So right. someone in need is mm. an appointment time or place mm. with your God. Right. So if you want to meet God, go to where somebody in need is. Make mm. that person your neighbor mm. and you will meet God right there. Thank wow. You. Thank you, Peter. Give me five. Yes. Thank you so, Thank much. You so much. We are quite alike, so we can, know. <laughs> we can relate to one another. I think uh, I learned one thing and you said very beautifully mm -hmm. that if you see person in need whether they are in injury or they are at the road yeah what you can do is definitely you need to call the police or yeah. an ambulance but before you do it if something in your reach maybe you can give a care or give a hand or just be there mm -hmm. till the ambulance or the police come exactly. I think that's what you're trying to say exactly. right exactly yeah don't just call the police and leave the place no because who knows next if mm. you are there mm. and nobody pay attention to mm. you mm. so thank you peter thank you for being here with us thank and you uh, so much and thank guys you if you have any comments please do comment down below and if you want to know anything more about us please do share like comments you're most welcome this is it for now thank you for watching vgk united thank you peter thank you, and VGK. guys yeah. love your neighbor